Well, today marks 42 years since an unforgettable day around here and really this country's history. Yeah, Mount St. Helens erupting at 8.32 a.m. on May 18, 1980. Fox 13's China Green is here to tell us what geologists have discovered since then and if they know when the next eruption is going to be. It's not if, but when, China. Right, that's a question on everyone's mind, right? But that deadly 1980 eruption killed 57 people, and then since then, the scientists have come a long way monitoring our state's most active volcano between the Cascades volcano... Uh, advertory and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. There are now 18 seismometers within seven miles of Mount St. Helens. And with the advancement of satellite imagery, geologists are able to see changes to the surface. And by looking at the volcano's, uh, volcano's past eruptions, geologists are also looking at the volcano's past eruptions to predict future activity. All of my research is sort of trying to understand the run up to volcanic to volcanic eruptions. So where were magma stored in the crust? How long did they sit there before they erupted? And then how fast did they get to the surface? So if we know those things, we can better prepare for future events. That geologist says just based on its history of being so active recently, experts think it will most likely be active again in the near future. And while it's impossible to pinpoint the next eruption, the good news is that scientists say improved monitoring will give us a warning before it happens. Guys.